In this short talk, we'll be discussing strengthening and conditioning. Strength and conditioning is a way in which we exercise which contributes to our muscle health. Exercise is defined as an activity requiring physical effort carried out to sustain or improve health or fitness. We can class activity as exercise if it raises your heart rate, makes you feel slightly out of breath, or if it makes you sweat. You should aim to do 150 minutes of exercise per week in bursts of 10 minutes or longer. And at least two of these sessions a week should include strength training. In the over 65s, this should also include balance exercises at least once a week. The activity you choose is completely up to you, but it should be something that you're willing to put, make time for and willing to make it a part of your routine. There's strong scientific evidence that being physically active can help you to lead a healthier and happier life. It can reduce your risk of major illnesses such as heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes and cancer by up to 50% and lower your risk of early death by 30%. Research shows that physical activity can help boost self-esteem, mood, sleep quality, increase our energy levels, as well as reducing your risk of stress, depression, dementia, and Alzheimer's disease. In terms of musculoskeletal pain, it can reduce pain, joint stiffness, and improve your physical ability. It helps you to get a better night's sleep, improves your fitness and resilience to movement and activity, and reduces fatigue. So how do you know how many repetitions and sets of an exercise you should do? You should work at different intensities depending on what your goals are. The chart breaks it down into three main areas that we focus on within physiotherapy. The first is functional muscle strength. This is our ability to perform a movement or day-to-day -day activity. Second, Explosive power. This is our ability to produce a powerful movement rapidly, like jumping and sprinting. And thirdly, endurance. This is our ability to sustain movement patterns over longer periods of time. You can see for each goal on the chart, the recommended repetitions and recovery duration varies. A repetition is how many times you repeat the movement in one set and the recovery duration is how long you rest between sets. For example, if I was to perform three sets of 10 repetitions of an overhead press for functional strength, I would complete maybe 10 overhead press at a slow tempo, followed by a recovery of perhaps about 30 seconds then another 10 more slow tempo repetitions, then another 30 second recovery, and then a final 10 more of that overhead press. Another example for if we wanted to challenge endurance for that overhead press, then I would look at completing three sets of 20 repetitions in a controlled manner. So I'd look at completing my first set of 20 followed by perhaps a 10 second rest, and then another 20 repetitions of my overhead press in that controlled manner, and then another 10 second rest, and then I might push for that third set of 20 controlled overhead press. We should aim to do an exercise in this kind of layout three or four times a week. It can take a long time, sometimes up to 12 to 14 weeks for us to see physiological changes in the muscle. So be patient. Loading the exercise is also important. We should aim to be using a load that is about 60% of your one rep max. Your one rep max is the weight in which you can perform only one repetition of the exercise before your muscles fatigue. Once you can perform your chosen exercise for two additional repetitions than you've been prescribed, we can think about adding on an additional 10% increase in load. 
For example, if you've been doing 10 overhead press with 5 kilograms for a few weeks and you can now manage to do 12 repetitions before you fatigue, then you can think about adding half a kilogram onto the load. So to summarise, there are a few things to remember when we're strengthening and conditioning. First of all, challenge yourself. Think about adding weight to the exercise. Two, remember your rest days. They're important for your muscle growth and recovery. Three, be consistent with the frequency of your training. Every other day works for most people. And four, be persistent. It can take 12 to 14 weeks of us doing regular strengthening exercise to see those changes in our muscle. So keep at it.